Okay, when this man took the stage, shut up for a second. All right, this is quiet. What we bring on the next act, please. When this man took to the stage of the Grand Ole Opry in 1945, he was playing a kind of music which had never been played before. He, by a combination of playing mandolin on the offbeat, playing the tunes faster, and by singing the tunes in a higher register than any man had ever done before, he actually started a new kind of music that had never been heard before, and this was quite a hit on the stage of the Grand Ole Opry. They didn't know what it was called, but all of a sudden there were bands all over the country who started playing it. They heard Bill on the Grand Ole Opry and WSM radio show on Saturday nights, and bands popped up, as I said, all over the country playing this music. They didn't know what it was called, but when they asked the bands what they were playing, they said, oh, we don't know, we're just playing like the Bluegrass Boys. That's why it came to be known as Bluegrass Music. Of course, the rest is history, and it's the history of music that has been created by one man, and that is why he's called the father of bluegrass, and that's why, truly, this is one of the greatest honors of my life, to be able to introduce from Nashville, Tennessee, on the stage of the Grand Old Opry, Bill Monroe and the Bluegrass Boys. to be here with you folks and it's a wonderful looking crowd it really lays pretty here just to get to be here with you folks in 1976 is a great day for me and the blue grace boys here i'd like to introduce the group so we can move along and do some picking and singing for you on the left hand side with the guitar from the state of kentucky is a new member and he does a wonderful job his name is wayne lewis i wish you'd make him welcome please And from the state of North Carolina, with the bass fiddle here, the youngest member of the Blue Grace Boys, uh, Randy Davis. Give Randy a hand, please. And on the right-hand side, from the state of Iowa, where the corn really grows tall, a great banjo picker, Bob Black. Make Bob welcome. And from the state of Kentucky, on the right-hand side, with the little fiddle, the greatest fiddler in Blue Grace music, Kenny Baker. Give him a hand, please. All right, now we're going to call on Wayne. He's just going to sing to you now, and then I'm entitled, I will never shed another tear. I used to sit out at night and worry 
little darling For I thought you meant the world to me But now things have changed and you've left me here forever So I'll never shed another tear I'll never shed another tear now I don't care what happens For you have proved your love's untrue to me There's nothing you can do that will ever change my feelings So I'll never shed another tear What happens? For oh, you have proved your love's untrue to me. There's nothing you can do that will ever change my feelings. So I'll never shed another tear. With a broken heart, I'll never forget those vows we made together. For oh, many times you told me not to fear. But now you've forgotten and you've left me here forever. So I'll never shed another tear. I'll never shed another tear. Now I don't care what happens. For you have proved your love's untrue to me. There's nothing you can do that will ever change my feelings. So I'll never shed another tear. All right, thank you. Bob Black is coming to the microphone now, and this number I wrote back in the days of Scruggs and Platt when they worked with me on the Grand Ole Opry, and it's called the Bluegrass Breakdown. We hope you will all enjoy it. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
All right, thank you, Bob. Now I would like to sing a couple songs for you folks here today. I'd like to start with an old yodel number to start with. Now, the next number, I believe, is going to be uh, I Traced a Little Footprint in the Snow. Summer folk like the summertime And they can walk about Strolling through the meadow green It's pleasant there but give me the winter time when the snow's on the ground. But I found her when the snow ain't on the ground. I traced a little footprints in the snow. I found a little footprints in the snow. Lord, I blessed that a happy day that Nelly lost her way. For I found her when the snow lit on the ground. Mother said she just stepped out, but it'd be returning soon. I found her little footprints, and I traced him through the snow. And I found her when the snow lit on the ground. I traced her little footprints in the snow. I found her little footprints in the snow, Lord. I blessed that a happy day that Nanny lost her way. For I found her when the snow lit on the ground.
now she's up in heaven, she's with the angel band. I know I'm going to meet her in that promised land. But every time the snow falls, it rains a back memory. For I found her when the snow lit on the ground. I traced a little footprints in the snow. I found a little footprints in the snow. No. I'm less than a happy dad, and he lost her way. For I found there when the snow lit on the ground. Little mandolin number now. Oh, Kentucky Mountain. We have a friend right down front here from Japan. He's a mandolin player. We want to do this for him. Bluegrass Quartet to sing now, and we would like to do a number that may have been sung here today, but we'd like to sing it again. It's entitled, I'm Working on a Building. Work on the building too. Build I'm working on a building. I'm working on a building for my Lord, for my Lord. It's a Holy Ghost building. It's a Holy Ghost building. It's a Holy Ghost building for my Lord, for my Lord. I'd quit my 
drinking and I'd work on the building too. I'm working on the building, I'm working on the building. I'm working on the building for my Lord, for my Lord. It's only going to be the Kenny Baker's fiddle for you, and he's picked out a number that he gets a lot of requests for and has on record. Uh, it's a number I wrote a good many years back called Jerusalem Ridge. All right, now we'd like to do a uh, num number for you here. This was wrote about an uncle of mine and that I learned to play from. We hope that you'll all enjoy it here today. And it tells a true story of where he lived on this high hill above town. And that's where me and him batched before he passed away. And it's uh, the number's called Uncle Penn. We hope you will all enjoy it. 
Now we get a lot of quests for and we hope you'll enjoy it today. It's entitled The Old Old House. Mr. Miller first, and he's got some good 
uh, uh, toe tapping time to it. Kentucky. What do you say we do Blue Moon of Kentucky and everybody sang it? Will you sing with me? 
Blue Moon of Kentucky. and I really thank you a lot. Uh, it's been a long time since I played in this state here for a festival, but it's a pleasure to be here, and this looks like a great festival, and you folks should really enjoy it. This is a beautiful location, and Miss Talbert has done a wonderful job, and it's good to see all the bluegrass entertainers here that plays. I'm proud of every one of them, uh, and I'm glad that they come out on the stage, and they do my numbers for you folks here. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of that. That's, they're welcome to do that. Because they're children of mine, and I learn them how to play, and they play my numbers, and I think that's great. Thank you. That's the way it was. One more number. Rawhide. I thought you'd never call for it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Monroe and the Bluegrass Bowl. Bill will be back along about 1 o'clock this evening, so stick around. Along about 1 o'clock this evening, Bill Monroe will be back. We have a lot of good music. We have two more bands coming up before the supper break, and then we'll take a break. Two more bands, so stick around. A few more announcements. The Bomber Boosters need your help. Buy a chicken dinner. They have good chicken dinners. I had one last night. Get a half barbecue chicken, potato salad, buttered roll, and pickles up at the Bomber Boosters. That's next to Mule Skinner News. And the um, money from that will go to keep a sports program alive. So stop by the Bomber Boosters. Keep a sports program alive. Buy a lot of chicken. They also have a raffle going on up there. Stick around. There's, believe me, there's a lot of good music coming up in the next hour or so. Then we'll take a supper break and you can go out and get something to eat. If your car is New Jersey license plate YDA, now listen to this, 169 is parked in the hay wagon area and they're going to tow that. So if it's New Jersey YDA 169, move your car. If you lost your rabbit, really, if someone found a rabbit, so if you've uh, been dragging a rabbit around the festival area and you lost it, someone backstage has its little black rabbit. So if you lost your rabbit, check with us backstage and we'll get that back to you, really. Um, Along that no. Also, no booze in the playing area. Please keep it up in your camper. Just no booze in the playing area. We want to keep it quiet and orderly. Sit down, listen to the music, and have a good time. Um, the, ple the security also asked me to ask you not to move the cars up along the top of this hill because they're afraid of someone sliding down, and that would that would be too bad, really. <laughs> Pat and Tim McGinnis come to the front of the stage. Also, don't forget the Mule Skinner news table up next to the Bomber Boosters with the Ralph Stanley issue, our current issue, and also our good friends from Bluegrass Unlimited magazine are here. They're over set up next to uh, Jim and Jesse's bus. Is that right? Bluegrass Unlimited magazine, another fine Bluegrass magazine. Mule Skinner and BU both with us this weekend. And if you lost a gold ring... One more announcement. If you lost a gold ring, come back to the stage and identify it. All right, you're going to say it's gold, right? Identify your gold ring, and I'll hand it over to you. Don't forget the program book. There's someone walking. Hold that up. There's a program book right over there. It has pictures of all the different people playing on the festival this weekend. A uh, interview with Don Stover, another f fine MC working on the festival. An article on all the different bands playing this weekend. And an article on the history of bluegrass music. Sit three close together with one guitar mic. That's the only instrument mic you want? No. We use the others off the side. Okay. That works. 